And welcome back to Final Fantasy. So, this is not where we left off. Last time I think we were in the high wind. High wind. Uh, so since last episode, I've done quite a bit. I've grinded and done all the chocobo breeding. So we now have a gold chocobo waiting for us back in the high wind. Uh, I used, you get to pick either items or GP, which is gold saucer points, as a prize for winning races. Which is what you have to do to breed gold chocobos. And I used all the GP to use in the battle arena. Because this is also a place that needed grinding to get a few items from here. One being Cloud's Limit Break, his final and iconic limit break. Which we're about to go buy now. And I also would ground out enough to buy another item that's in this place, which I'll show you once this list comes up. Next page. So the two main items you want from here are Omni Slash, which is Cloud's Limit Break. And W Summon, which allows you to cast. Uh, basically, you can with this one ability, you can summon two limits at once, which will be useful. But we've already got that. I've already done that, and now we have just enough for Omni Slash. So let's do it. Beautiful. Now, technically, we could now participate in special fights. I believe now that we've got the Omni Slash. But I think maybe we'll come back and do that later. I think we'll do it once we've got Cloud's Ultimate Weapon. So we've got a lot of loose ends to tie up before we head down into the Northern Cave and deal with the Sephiroth. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So first thing on the list of things to do, let's think. It's probably going to be... Hmm. Well, we've got the Gold Chocobo, but I've not actually used it to acquire anything that you would acquire a Gold Chocobo for. So we could go around to the Materia Caves and get all the super items. I don't know why I've gone to the Chocobo area, because that is not where I want to be gone. I've had enough of that area. Uh, all my Chocobo breeding stuff I'm probably going to have out as a little... may already be out by this point. A little quick Chocobo breeding guide, just to show what I did. I didn't see the point in recording it all, because it was just basically finding a Chocobo, feeding it seeds, racing it a bunch of times, breeding them, reloading until I got the right one I wanted to breed to. And rinse and repeat until we got the, the uh, blue and green, and then the black, and then the gold. Didn't take me as long as probably the last time it did, but it took a while. It wouldn't have been a very interesting video. But you'll see bits of it when I make the little guide video, which I've not actually done yet. But it may already be out by this point, depending on how quick it takes me to do it. So. Let's go grab this gold chocobo, and we'll go grab the items from it. Well, from the places we can now access due to the gold chocobo. There are, I believe, one, two, four caves that are only accessible by certain coloured chocobos. Oh, there he is. Look, he's need nice and bright. Okay. Well, I guess should we want to leave the gold the high wind here? Sure. So there is actually one right near here. I don't know if you remember way back when, when we first came to this continent, just after we left uh, Costa del Sol, which is here, there. So back way back when we came all the way around here, up through the mountains, let's just skip over, and we came to here, and I mentioned that there was a cave there, which we can now get to, because the gold choker boat can go literally anywhere. It can go across the oceans, the mountains, rivers, whatever. I think we may have been able to get here with another chocobo, like, I'm trying to remember what all the chocobos do. I think the blue one can go across, I want to say rivers, maybe shallow water, I don't remember. The green one can go across, uh, what can the green one do? Is it mountains? But then, yeah, maybe it's mountains, so maybe that could get across mountains, and then the black one can do both. But then the gold can go like anywhere, like across oceans. And I don't remember what they all individually do. Basically, the gold does everything. So this is Materia Cave number one. Let's go and see what we get. Some of these items in here are going to be super useful, and some of them not so much. I think maybe this one is not the best one. Over the course of many years, Mako Energy crystallizes into Materia. HP greater than MP. So basically, what this does, this swaps your MP. 
with your HP. So if I was to equip that to Cloud now, with him having 9999 health, it would give him, I assume, 9999 mana? Or MP? Let's find out. Let's switch it real quick with something. Uh, it's a purple one, right? Yep, so there we go. It switched his HP and his MP. Which is great, I guess, if he wanted a lot of HP. Uh, MP and it works vice versa as well. So if you had a lot of mana, you could swap it for HP. Kind of gimped Cloud now, he's got no health. There you go, sword. So yeah, that's item number one. Not the best, and we probably won't ever use that. But we've acquired it either way. Okay, my golden little snitch. Let's go ahead to the other one. So there was another one, if you remember, when we went to Wu Tai. Or however you pronounce it. So we're gonna head back across there now, which we can do, because the little gold chocobo can go anywhere. Uh, I believe it's more further down. It's right here, look. So I want to say you could possibly get to this one with the green chocobo. But I figured I'd wait till I've got the gold and we can just get them all, because you'd have to get here first. It'd be a bit of a nightmare. Right, this looks like it's going to be a yellow materia. Over the course of many years, Mako Energy was, will crystallise into materia. Mime materia. Now this one is going to be a vital one when we fight the endgame weapons. So let's just really quick uh, have a look what that does. Let's just out of range. Oops, it doesn't actually say what it does. I'm trying to think how this works and how to explain it. I want to say, it, if you cast something, mine will then do it again. So if you were to cast, I don't know, let's say for an example... Uh, restore, or whatever, poison. I think mine would then make you cast it twice. Is that right? I don't remember. I know it's vital and it'll be very useful later on. Can't quite remember how it works. But we'll get to that. Okay, that's cave number two done. So there's one back near Midgar way. It's on one of the islands off to the... I don't know why I'm going this way. It's probably quicker to go the other way, actually. Instead of running all the way back. Spin this stupid camera around. There we go. Right, we'll head this way. We should pop on the other side of the map. Just a little dash across the ocean. Boop. Okay. So it's somewhere over here. I think it might be this, actually. So we're just down from the Choco Farm now, which is over there. Where actually are we? Yeah, there's the Choco Farm. So we're on this side, there's a little cave here. It's not one we've walked, walked past or seen before, really. I don't know if we saw it on the high wind, maybe. Because obviously you can only get to this with a... I assume... See, I don't know what a blue trick ever does. Can a blue trick ever go across the ocean? Maybe. I feel like you would need... Each one of these caves would represent one of the birds you could get here with. But this is a blue item. Or blue material. Quadra Magic. Now that one... Hmm, have a look. Just arrange it properly. Paired Magic's used four times. Okay, so this is the one that allows you to do... So if I had that with Fire, for example, I would cast it five, uh, four times. Mime, I believe it just copies whatever you did last. I think. So I'm not sure, but I want to say if I did Quadra Magic with Fire, and then on my next turn I used Mime, he would then do Quadra Magic with Fire again four times. It's so basically what it would be able to do because we've got from the Gold uh, the Battle Arena in Gold Source, so we've got W Summon, which is the other thing we had to buy other than Omni Slash. 
which allows us to cast two summon spells at once. But then if we use that with Mime, we would then do that again. And it wouldn't, like, cost... Like, we can generally only do summons based on what level they are. So for a summon, like, if we go down to our summons, Bohem and Zero, we can only do cast him once, because he's a lot low level. But obviously, we, I assume if we do W summon, we'll be able to do it twice anyway. And then if we do Mime after that, we'll be able to copy it and do the same thing. And it won't cost us anything. Something along those lines. Don't quote me on any of that garbage that I just said. But it'll be useful, I guess. I don't know if I ever really used Quadra Magic. Because I don't generally use Materia Magic, I just use enemy skill stuff. Well, that's one thing we should actually do is uh, go ahead and equip that new Limit Break. Which is Omni Slash. I think at this point it's quite an iconic uh, Limit Break. And the best in the game. Okay, got it. Beautiful. And we'll have to go test that out soon. So, that's all the... Nope. Nope. That's all the Materia Caves that we could technically see. But there is one hidden one. And one that you can only access by the Gold Chocobo. And it's the reason you breed a Gold Chocobo. The thing in there is what we need to be able to defeat the weapons. And you can only get there by a gold chocobo, and I believe it's not even on the map. Because the farthest thing on the map, over this side of it, at least, is this little island, which I'm sure has absolutely nothing of interest on. But we need to keep going and see if I can actually find it. Because it's not on the map. Somewhere over here. Question mark. There it is. So as you can see, that is not on the map. If we go onto the big map, there is nothing up here. This is the big one. This is the one we want. The reason we've bred a gold chocobo. I wonder what you fight in here. I don't actually know. If anything. And it's a red one. Received Knights of the Round Materia. So this is the bad, the big bad. This one's gonna wreck some face. I and mean, it's pretty much the only thing you can probably beat the weapons with. So we'll be showing that off later. Uh, okay, so that's that little side thing done. Let's think what else there is to do. We should probably go grab the high wind again, which is now all the way down there. It's kind of annoying, so let's get our little legs going. So, things we've got left to do. We've got weapons. We've got three weapons to deal with. One of them will not be a difficult one. Two of them are end game and will be uh, probably a big problem. I'm not sure if I can even defeat them at this level. I'm hoping I can. Because I've defeated them with only Cloud in the party before. And I'm hoping that tactic will work again. We shall see. But first we need to get Cloud's ultimate weapon. And to get that we have to defeat the other weapon that is not so difficult. And is meant to be taken on at this point in the game. Which is probably what we're going to start doing next. He's a bit of a pain because he keeps piecing out and leaving. I don't know why I've got the map up still. Okay, back in the high wind. I totally forgot how to fly. There we go. So, we've got Cloud's ultimate weapon, which coincides with killing the ultimate weapon. It gets a bit confusing because Cloud's ultimate weapon is called, I believe, ultimate weapon, and the enemy that gives it you is called ultimate weapon. And it's an ultimate weapon. It's, it's confusing. It's a lot of ultimate weapons. Basically, it's Cloud's ultimate weapon that is called ultimate weapon that you have to get from defeating ultimate weapon. Does that make any sense? No? Good. Uh, we also have another place to go to later on, which also I believe we can only get there... I mean, we might be able to get there with the gold chocobo, in fact. But we can only get here after you defeat ultimate weapon, because he kind of dies around here, I want to say, and leaves like a big crater so we can just walk up there but we can probably get there with the gold chocobo we could do that now but let's go crack on with getting cloud's ultimate weapon so when we do show amnon slash off we can see it in its greatest form i guess maximum power so ultimate weapon is generally flying around the, the map being a pain in the ass at the minute he's stationary here not quite sure what he's doing. 
from what I, I should have probably read this up on where he goes and stuff because it's kind of a pain in the ass to find him each time but let's get into a fight and do this I guess oh, I got out of the high wind actually because I need to be in the high wind to fight him at this point but I do need to equip to everybody else should we actually change party members at this point I feel like we've had this group for a while now I need to start equipping like ultimate weapons to everybody make sure that everyone's geared up for the final fight later on Barrett and Vincent are ready to go so let's in fact, let's just check everything. I'm going to sort out my inventory and party members and then I'll be right back because this bit's a boring wallet. Okay, after that mess, we're back. So I thought I'd mix it up the party a little bit. We've got some characters we don't normally have in. We've got Yuffie and Cat Sith for a change. I think he's redeemed himself and is worthy of coming back into our party. Uh, equipped with both of their ultimate weapons. Hers being the Conformer. Uh, hers weapon works the higher the level the enemy more damage it'll do so against stronger enemies it'll do a lot more damage against weaker enemies it'll do less damage uh, for cat siths his is based on how much health he has not his maximum hp but how close he is to being on full hp so if he's at full hp he'll do maximum damage that he can do but as his health goes down he'll do less it's basically what that does uh, I just want to check real fast actually, is there something we've got that increases stealing? can't remember if there was. Was it an accessory or was it like a... Maybe just for thinking of the manipulate increasing thing which I gave to Cat Sith because it just makes sense even though it's probably pretty much useless because we don't ever really manipulate things anymore. I don't think we do have anything that increases the chance to steal. I feel like that's something I saw somewhere. I don't remember then, maybe not. Okay. So we're all on full health. Uh, did I even set Cloud's Limit Break? I don't really want to show it off yet. Let's just set that now though. So it's ready. Uh, I've equipped some of the new stuff we've just got. So Cloud's got Mime and he's got Naz the Round. I don't know if we'll show that off yet. I might save that for a, a later date because we will be seeing a lot of that spell when we fight the other two weapons because it's about the only thing you can do to actually do any damage to it. So I may save those for later. We'll see what happens. This is going to be an ongoing fight because he keeps piecing out. He does have something to steal, but I don't know if I'm going to bother trying to steal it because I'm not going to use it. He's, you can steal a cursed ring from him, which is not that great. It raises all your stats by quite a bit, which sounds great, but the penalty is that you get death sentence on you from the start of the fight. So you've got like 60 seconds to do it. You can negate it by equipping certain things, but it's probably not worth the effort. Uh, I just wanted to check real fast that I had an enemy skill on Cloud. Yes, I did. So this guy's got an enemy skill that we can learn. It's probably going to be one of the better ones. I think he does it as he dies, maybe? Question mark. Anyway, it's enough crapping. Let's get fighting. Come on, big boy. So I'm hoping Yuffie's going to do quite a bit of damage against this, because it's a higher level-ish thing, I guess. So we've got Mime equipped, and we've got W Summon. So I'm going to try and understand how this works. Let's we try and Mime now. Technically no one's done anything, right? Cloud made a useless in in imitation. So I guess we can only Mime our own characters. Have we seen Alcoration yet from Yuffie? I think it's time to see it. We should probably get a big guard going. Nice. I mean, as soon as I cast this, he's probably going to just peace out anyway, but let's get big guard up. So that was uh, Cat Sith's, not Cat Sith, fucking Yuffie's final limit break. Uh, we've got Phoenix on Cat Sith, in case things go wrong. He's also our Curer. And we've got Quad Magic on Ultima, so if we cast Ultima, he should cast it four times. Which is nice. So, we should try and mime something, shouldn't we? So, what my theory was, if we cast Ultima... I'm assuming he's going to cast this four times now. This is probably going to reach my mana. Do I even have enough mana to cast it four times? Okay, here we go, four times. This is the quad magic equipped to Ultima. Now let's see if we can mime that. 
So I'm interested to see if we now cast my uh, Ultima four times again just by doing mine. He doesn't seem to be draining his money yet. I'm sure it'll do it afterwards. I think he's gonna piece out now. I'm not gonna get to see him do money. Fucking is bastard. I didn't get to do mine. So if I had done mine, I think Cloud would have done that Ultima four times yet again. Okay, now the uh, cat and mouse chase begins as he pieces off and just flies around endlessly until he decides to land somewhere. I can't quite remember the specifics of getting him to land. It just takes a goddamn while. Or you have to go do stuff. Should have probably have read that before beginning because he's now just going to fucking derp around for a while until he finds a place he likes. You can crash into him. Doesn't really do much. I don't know if it increases the chances. What the fuck? Any, what energy? Damn, you think you're just gonna give up? What? Sid, are you drunk? Land, you piece of shit. Oh, what the fuck? What energy? I guess we're saying there. I'm trying to think of something else we could do while we're waiting. There's a few things we could go do. I could go show the weapons off and you can see what the weapons are like in a straight up fight and how badly we get our asses kicked while he's derping around. Where did I park the submarine? So let's go show you Emerald Weapon, which is the one in the ocean. And I'll see you, I'll see you, I'll show you what we've got to work with and what we've got to deal with. So quick save at the ready because we're going to die horribly. Uh, first thing we're going to do is find him. Oh, there he is. So let's go get this shown off then. It's gonna kick my ass, so. So the first thing you'll notice is there's a big fat time limit. You have 20 minutes until you drown because you're underwater. Now there is a way we can cure that, so what damage that does then. 7,000? Uh, don't really know what we're gonna do because he's literally gonna kill me all, probably. No. I guess we could do like Big Guard. Cure 3. Do. And I remember he has a. Nope, oh, there was Cloud dead. Good. Cure just missed everybody. Didn't heal anyone, anyone for shit because I did Big Guard. Cat Sith, you got this. Ooh, I got 3 of the same thing. Does that make a difference? Oh, I've never seen this one before. Got little toy soldiers. I mean, he just like laughed that off. That's like nothing. <laughs> like we need to be hitting him for like nine, nine, nine. But I just want to show the kind of power of these weapons. And he's only just getting started. See, how, oh, I was gonna see see how much Yuffie does with her normal attack because she meant to do more damage against high level things. But that's not gonna happen. Oh no, she survived. Uh, yeah. That wasn't that great. And there we go. Brown bread. So this is what we've got to deal with. And there's two of those. There's emerald and ruby weapon. Ruby weapon we've not seen yet. But we'll show where he is later. So let's just reload. Okay. Should have probably done it before I came down. It's fine. So that's one of the side things we've got to do. Which will be fun. So let's just park back up. So there is one thing we can go get to negate that time limit. Though I'm pretty sure last time I killed Emerald Weapon I didn't even bother using it. But we'll go get it anyway. To do so we have to visit Calm. We haven't been here in a while. So here in Calm is an NPC which is kind of like your end game quest giver. I'm not sure what house he's in. He's in one of these buildings. Is it this one? Is it the inn? Maybe it's the inn. Might be the inn. Let me go check the inn. Stop saying inn. Inn, inn, inn. Get out of the way. Is it the inn? No, it's not the inn. What is that item and why can't I reach it? It's been there since like 
Ever. Okay, I'm going to find this guy then. He's in one of these buildings. Come on, Cloud. Behave. Trying to remember which one he's in. Is it this one? Maybe this one. There he is. This guy. The world's changed a lot in the past few days. That huge monster meteor was curving up the sky and acting like the, he owned, or, owned it or something. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. Uh, a map that was sunk long ago with the ship. Guidebook. A rose that blooms once every thousand years in the desert. Desert rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it. Earth harp. So they are basically the list of items he wants. He wants the guidebook, the desert rose, and the earth harp. Now the guidebook we already have. That was the thing we had to morph from the pirate ship onto the uh, water in the underwater reactor. So that one's checked off the list. Desert Rose is by defeating Ruby Weapon. Bit of a hint on where he is though. And Earth Harp is by defeating Emerald Weapon that just floored me. I wonder if there's anyone who'll bring it to me. Well, now that you mention it. Oh, it's a guidebook. Want to trade it for this underwater materia? How about it? Sure. Okay then, it's a done deal. Where's he going? It's underwater material. Go on, it's yours. Well, thanks for giving me. You're not just, you know, throwing it on the floor. What a dick. So, the underwater material. It's pretty simple. It negates that time limit when fighting an emerald weapon. And that's literally all it's used for. So, we can equip that later on when we decide to fight him. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said, I don't think I actually ever used it, because I think I killed him within 20 minutes. Because I believe Emerald Weapon has an ability that does more damage based on how much materia you have in your possession, or equipped, I guess. So, we'll get to that at another time. So that's that solved and sorted. Right, let me try and see if we can find this stupid weapon guy that's flying around. Uh, we also need to go get Red 13's ultimate weapon, because we don't have that yet. So that'll be a visit back to Cosmo Canyon at some point. Uh, what else do we have to do? We have to visit the place near Cosmo Canyon, which we can't quite get to yet. We can probably choke him up there, but we'll save that for a later date. So I think our task at the minute is to find this stupid weapon and finish him off. So I shall be back once I find him again, because this may take a minute. He's either floating around somewhere or he's disappeared, I don't know. We'll find him. So we'll back in a minute. Okay, so he's finally decided to shop under or above Midgar. Because Midgar's not had enough issues with weapons lately. Looks like he's gonna Kamehamehari. So we should probably stop him because I guess there isn't innocent people in that city. So here we go again. Round two. Oh, he's actually landed. That means we don't need the long range material, which is nice. Hold some that beam! Let's get a big guard up, shall we? I think what else we could do. We could try and steal from him, but again, I'm not too bothered about the item. So we'll try this time to do Ultima four times and then see if we can mime it. Yuffie has failed me. So here he goes. Ultima four times. The quad magic. Let's see if we can mine that cloud. I believe it's only costing the equivalent of casting it once. It's not doing a great amount of damage, but if we did this with something else and mined it, it could be super useful. Basically, we'll be doing mine with eyes of the round. Just like the best summon we've got, which allows us to keep spamming eyes of the round. If he's looking a little shit. There we go. So Mime is just literally going to copy the last thing that was done. Let's just throw a... 
And I don't believe it's going to cost any money for it either. It's not going to cost the same amount of mana it did to cast all to move four times, I don't think. Peace and out, Ian. See you later. Leave Midgard alone. Give me my ultimate weapon. We're not actually getting any XP from it either, because I guess we've not actually defeated him. He's just peacing out. Okay, where did he go? Normally you can see where he's pissed off to, but I didn't catch where he went. Just a slight pain, because now we're going to have to go find him again. So I'll be right back once we find him. I should actually probably heal up the party a little bit. Because Yufri has taken some beatings. Didn't exactly bring the best party along, I'll be honest. Just thought I would give some other guys some time to shine for a bit. Since we don't really use them all that much. And there goes all his MP. I think we'll stop spamming Ultima, because it's not really worth it. Okay. Boop. So I'll be back when I find him. There he is. So we're gonna run him a few times and then he'll piss off to a new location. That's basically the trick. Which is fine, let's just keep running him. Sid, shut the fuck up. Yes, it's got a lot of energy, we know that. We need to fucking land. According to the guide, you can land at either Deal, Mount Nibble, North Coral, Gongoa Village, Fort Condor, Midgar, and the Northern Crater. Yeah, why don't you go fucking Kamehameha fucking Sathoroth? I don't know why we wouldn't just let him do that, but maybe Sathoroth is, I guess, collecting energy, so that probably wouldn't be for the best. Looks like he's going to the North Crater, actually. Which is fine. Yep, okay, let's do it. Round three. Fight! Uh, we've only got Phoenix, so we'll let it break. Sure, let's just spam it, I don't care what it is. We'll throw a bit god on. Do we just drop a Hell House on him? I wonder if we could mine Quake. Yeah. I think we can mine Quake. Oh, I may have done him. A... I think I'm gonna mine Big God because. That was the last thing that just happened, right? Yeah, shit. Never mind. We'll just attack it, I guess. He's not particularly tough. He's flying off pretty quick. Really? You're leaving already? Well, shit. Good. This guy's a coward. Just stay and fight! Now where did he go? He disappears fast. Right, I'll be back again when I find him. Son of a bitch. Aha, there you are. Where are you going, you piece of shit? Get back here. Damn it. Go wherever you're going. Stop being a douche. Keep on ramming him. Sid, shut up. Is he going to be deal, do we think? Let's see where he goes. He doesn't seem to be varying off at all, so it looks like he's heading somewhere. We'll meet you there, bitch. Yeah, I'm already here. Fuck you. Round four. And this is an airship one. So any people with long range can attack. So that puts Cat Sith out. I guess he could do enemy skills, so he doesn't actually have anything. Haha, that did fuck all me. Magic breath, should we see if that does anything? Okay, that did nothing either. Not holding my breath for magic breath doing anything then. No, that's not too bad. Ultima Beam! I 
not really much we're gonna be able to get off because he just fucks off. And we could do Phoenix, I don't really see the point in doing Phoenix. It's not gonna do a great deal. Every time I cast this fucking summon, it's blocked by the enemy that I'm doing it on. Yeah, it was alright. See, I could show Knights of the Round, but I don't know if I want to share that off on this douchebag yet. So he's just going to peace out. And like I say, we'll be seeing a lot of it against the weapons, other than this one. Ah, this guy takes a while. Okay. So again, I've got to go fucking find him, so I'll be right back. There you are, you motherfucker. Jesus Christ, I told me ages to find you. Where have you been? Pain in the ass. Let's get back on him. It's took me a good ten minutes to find him. Sometimes it can be a real pain in the ass. Come here. Pick a destination and go for it. Goddamn coward. Come on. Where are you going? Nope, still doesn't know. Still very confused. Fuck. Get here, you mechanical lizard. Where's he going now? Fuck. Hi. Swear to God, I'll kick your ass. Up here. He's definitely going somewhere because he's not like changed direction. So he's definitely got somewhere in mind. I'm guessing back to the north crater. Since that's the only thing in this direction where he generally heads to, I believe. Which is fine. Right behind him. Kick his ass! Give me that weapon! Oh yeah, we should probably heal Cat Sith up because he'd do more damage. Full health, it'll do a lot more damage with his ultimate weapon. And he's piecing out. Fuck! This guy's a pain in the ass! What are you all celebrating for? You did nothing! No XP for you. And I'll be back when I find him again. Fuck! There he is. I see you. Come on now. It's time to call it a day. Don't make me cast Knights of the Round on you, because I will do it. Wanted to save you, save it for bigger fish, but it's becoming a pain in the ass. I don't think it'll actually kill you, because I think you have to be in a certain place before you can die. Oh, you're doing Midgar again, okay. That's fine. God damn it. Melee attacks all the way. Really? Seriously? What a fucking asshole. <sighs> Maybe he's going to his final his final area. And then we can kill him at long last. Please God. Right, I'll be back when I find him again. Ah, at long last, so he was at his final area. So we can now finally kill this stupid pain in the ass. 
wonder how close to death he is. I'm assuming his health carries over. Give me that enemy skill, baby. What's he doing? Oh, that chestnut. Yeah, how do you like that? Eh? A bit of that? Give me that shadow flare. I know you've got it in there. Cast it on me. I want it as an enemy skill. Oh, you pissed Yuffie off. That's it now. You're in trouble. Now, I don't think you can... I'm pretty sure you... Well, you can't mime. Uh, limit breaks. I mean, we can try. I don't think it'll be alive to do it anyway. Nice. That'll do it. Are you still going? But no, I don't think mine will work on limit breaks. Because that would be a bit weird. Cloud couldn't mimic alteration. Yuffie is not looking too good. It's maybe a perfect time to cast Phoenix. And let's resurrect poor old Yuffie. And maybe we'll mime it just for the sake of it. Yeah, we can't see you. Sorry. I'm sure, it looks great though. Hey, Yuffie's back, everybody. Shadow Flare! He's dead. Ooh. Well, I killed Cat Sith. Did I, was Cat Sith the only one to learn that? That sucks. Oh well. HP level up. And a few level ups all around. That's a lot of XP. <laughs> And there it is, Ultima Weapon. So the way Clouds works is... Hold that thought. Kaboom. That's a big crater. And now, now gives us access to this place be a bit of a mess but we'll do that in a minute let's go equip our new toy so yes the way cloud's weapon works is based on his maximum amount of hp i believe so the fact that he's got 9999 should mean he'll do a lot with it so let's get this bad boy on obviously nothing now will uh, learn anything that's equipped so we're probably gonna have to have a jig around because i could do with knights of the round getting some experience so I'm just going to organise Cloud and then I'll be right back. <laughs> 